What's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to Minecraft. For the people who've been with me for a long time, you might recognize where I'm standing. This is the very first world I ever created in Minecraft way back in 2010. Early alpha, maybe even inf dev, I don't even remember when it was. But it's been a while since I've been here and I thought I would kind of take you on a tour of it to see where I started and, you know, show some of the things that you may have recognized from other videos. Now, for my Feed the Beast fans out there asking when the next video is going to be, I'm going to try and work on one tonight, the night that you're actually watching this, and get it up either uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, just depends. Anyway, this is the first world I built, and I was wanting to just basically explore this and talk to you guys about how much things have changed. How, oh my god, how much Minecraft has changed. I mean, there is so much that's just not even close to the same and without sounding condescending or rude to anybody involved I can say with complete honesty that everybody who's new to the game that never got to play in alpha or beta or way back uh, even after that into uh, before the adventure up beta whatever that you have it very easy I mean the stuff that we had to do when we were playing these games back then we didn't have creative mode we didn't have a life bar at all you had a food bar the, or you had a health bar. Sorry, you didn't have a food bar is what I was trying to say. And uh, so you got hit. You basically had to find food. And that's something else too. Is The only source of food you had at all was pork. You killed a pig. You cooked the pork. You had pork chops. That was it. Cows dropped leather so you could make armor. And that was pretty much it. Chickens dropped arrows for you to make uh, arrows with. And that was it. And zombies dropped feathers too. They didn't have any flesh. There was no other form of food added. There was no farming. You basically had to survive just on pork and not dying. Which you can see here, I don't even have any. I'm just kind of doing a tour of my uh, my cave system here as we're talking. And I'm looking over. Every one of these major things that I'm stopping at is something that I did as a major project and showed it off in a video as a tutorial or something. You know, this was the video of my secret mountain. And you see I dug out all this and I did all of this by hand. Again, this was before world this was before creative mode. This was I did this one block at a time. I went through I don't even know how many pickaxes to make this. And I originally turned this into a tree farm, but the lava in the walls kept setting it on fire. You know, I dug this. This goes all the way down to the very bottom. Here we scoot over. Shift click. See, it goes all the way down to the bedrock, and then it branches out into some mines. I dug all this by hand, and that right there is something else that we didn't have for a long time is shift click. You know, that's something that everybody takes advantage for advantage now, just walking into wherever they want to. That's just a waterfall behind glass, I thought it was cool. Walking wherever they want to without really thinking anything of it. See, here's my raw pork chop. Oh, and in back of the day, they didn't stack like this. See, they're all in this order here. It's because you couldn't stack them. So that was something else about the food that was hard to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and eat another one. See, raw pork chops don't give you very much. I'm going to grab the rest of these. Because why not, right? And go ahead and take some bread, too. Since I'm just on a tour, here's my incinerator. This is probably one of my more popular videos I ever did on how to make this. These up here were my lava lighting tutorials. And I showed you how to light up a hallway doing this. This is the mine shaft I dug. It goes all the way down that way. Dug it all the way to the top. Put glass in the top there so you can kind of see that. Um, we'll go back down there just a little bit. I'm just kind of showing off some stuff here. But yeah, it really is, like I said, without sounding condescending, it kind of annoys me sometimes when kids, are the, or people, uh, sorry, I don't mean to say kids, when people have been playing the game for all of a couple weeks and then they come back and see one of these older videos and they're like, my God, why didn't you just do such and such? And why didn't you just use this? Or why didn't you use this resource to build this? And there's so many easier ways to do that. And like, you don't realize that those weren't available. We didn't have creative mode. There was one color of wool and it was white. We didn't have beds so if you died your spawn was wherever you spawned into this world which for mine was way that direction so every time I died I had to walk all the way back over here. See this giant totem thing here? I mentioned this a bunch in earlier videos. This is what we used to have to do back in the day to find our houses in the dark. I'm going to head up to the top of this tower, and I built every bit of this by hand. There was a video showing me actually doing that little montage to some O Fortuna. But yes, I built this entire thing by hand. This was just one of those structures I felt like doing. I mined the holy crap out of it. You can see how much cobblestone there actually is for this. I'm going to go up top and just kind of show you a view because it looks really cool at night. But this is one of those things that 
uh, this right here this when I first showed this off it was like oh my god that is so awesome it was it was very impressive to people that were watching it nowadays something like this is like meh I can do that in five minutes because I got world edit I got creative mode I get all that stuff you know how many times I died building this walkway here because there was no shift click <laughs> a lot trying to because I couldn't edge out over the side here try imagine trying to connect blocks side by side when there's nothing to stand on and there's no shift click check this out. this is always something I really liked here you can look straight down from the top of this world this is as high as the world can go as the top of these buildings at nighttime here look straight down and then down that shaft is all the way down as far as it'll go to this was like the first time I ever had a perspective of how high these towers were I don't have an easy way down I see some spiders over there you can see the railway system I built here. The roller coaster track goes all the way down and off into the distance. This was on that musical Minecraft voyage video I made. Um, people really like that. Uh, that's one of my favorite videos. I still I have the music's beautiful, the scenery's really cool, and all it does is just shows off the different kinds of worlds there are. Anyway, so much has changed about the game, and that for all the people out there that, like I said, if you didn't play it before the creative mode, if you didn't you didn't get to see what it was like you know when we actually had to fear creepers because they didn't make any sound when they snuck up on you and blew up and you, it was just something that happened you, they didn't make any sound they were little bastards back then AI was better back then or I'm sorry I say better it was worse than the fact they didn't have any so they would walk right off into lava trying to get to you but I mean now in the game of course they'll follow you around and try and find the best path to get to you but man like I said, I, I'm sorry for sounding condescending or whatever, but you kids just don't know what it's like to have to work so hard to try and get something. show you this project I have here. This is one of the coolest things I ever built, too. This is all underwater. Every bit of it. You know, alternating torches. It's all up underwater here. You know, there's a mob spawner down here, but they just spawn into the water, which is kind of cool. Sometimes they spawn in there. But I built all of this by hand. Every single bit of every single piece of glass I built, swam down underwater, lined it up, put sand in here to try and get it, a, you know, to get the water to go away. I never really did anything with it, but it was just for the sake of actually building it. See, we got a skeleton over there. Let's see if I can get him to come get me. Are you by yourself? Be careful, don't be breaking any of the glass when there's some of this water in here. There's a lot of it. So yeah, there's just there's so much for so for everybody who's watching this, if you go back and you watch a video like one of mine, you go back and watch a video from two years ago, keep in mind the stuff that we didn't have that you do. Keep in mind the changes that was involved. You know, since since I started this world or whatever, they changed the lighting system. They changed the way ladders work and stuff. You didn't used to be able to stand on top of the ladders. You know how many times we fell off a ladder trying to get to the top? A lot. The sea over here, this lava sea. This was one of the this was one of the first major projects I thought was kind of cool. Check it out. That's an armored skeleton. That's definitely something I didn't have back in the day. <laughs> Let's see if I can take him out here. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, spider. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to run for my life here, I'm chasing me. Time to get inside where it's safe. But one thing that's changed about Minecraft is I just don't feel like it's. I never feel fearful for my life. I mean, okay, so my food bar is a little bit low. Eh, give it a second. Now my health's going to regenerate because my food bar is full again. You know, once, back when we first started playing this, okay, see how these ladders are spaced like this? Yeah, see, at one point, you didn't have to have them alternating. I mean, you could have them alternating spaces like this. They didn't have to be conjoined. As long as there was one every other space, you could still climb up them. And that was really cool. And then they updated it, of course, and... You know, now we're down into here. I had my coal-powered mine carts and stuff that I was using for this epic mining system I have going on. There was, oh my god, there's just so much that has changed since this game first started. It's not even close to the same game. But in my personal opinion, it's not near as challenging either. It's not near as hard as it used to be. Whoa, hello, slime. Keeping things steady down here. He's my supervisor. Sometimes I have to keep him in line, though. <laughs> And he brings his kids to work. That's always a problem, too. But, you know, we deal with it the best we can here. So we just let them come up, and then, you know, they bring their kids in. And and then we just put a bunch of slime balls, and now this is how we make sticky pistons. As soon as it gets done, this is going to be a longer video. I hope you're willing to stick around for it. And head back up to the top real quick. But one of the main reasons, and going back to my little, uh, 
Here, I'll show you. Let me get up here to the top. I'll show you what I'm trying to do before I s do it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get back up that way now. See? You could, you'd used to be able to just do that, but now you can't. Here. Alright. But anyway, the whole reason I built this little mine shaft, what a lot of us did back in the day, was we put this glass ceiling in the top here so we could tell when it was light outside because it was too unsafe to go out there after dark. So we just build these little, we build these kind of things and jump right up to the top here when it was light. But that way we could do all our mining and everything else and not have to worry about dying. Oh, I'm just kind of getting lost here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause the video and get back up top when it's light time. Be right back. And we're back. I'm back on top of my secret mountain here. Um, back outside, sun's coming up. Thought I would do a quick little tour, just walking around showing some of the things I did. Or I did that some of you may recognize. I'm going to head over this way because this was, this was the world I did all my tutorials in, or most of them in. I mean, there's a big chunk of them I did here. So I'm just going to kind of, well, kill him first real quick just to get him out of the way. And there's a creeper over there, but hopefully he'll leave me alone. Keep an eye out for these little buggers just so they don't mess up my video here. You can see this this little area over here is where I did the tutorial on the cobblestone generator using the little five clocks and the, the pistons and all this other stuff over here. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have creative mode. That'd be great. But I can't set it in this mode because of this world because it was built so far back. Headed up this direction and kind of show you some of the other things I worked on. And like I said, a lot of these things you may recognize because of the stuff I worked on and did tutorials on and you know that was one of the things that helped me grow so much as a channel basically was tutorials and this area over here I did a bunch of different kinds of tutorials let me make sure I'm safe real quick make sure that little bastard's not chasing me still okay this was the which which one was this one? Oh yeah this was the hidden pressure plate you know um aero system here the hidden pressure plate uh, launcher sort of thing and then you move down a little bit further over here and this is where I did the tutorial on you know how rail systems work and how um, powered carts work uh, these powered tracks here and these kinds of tracks and this kind of stuff I don't even remember anymore and you know, this was just a big hole I dug <laughs> you can see the big tower over there I built off that's where I started out how to do that um, that extremely long minecart track over here is this extremely complex and took me a long time to do um, hidden cobblestone or hidden door basically that hides in the cobblestone Let's see if it still works here yep it still works after all this time still sitting there working that's another tutorial I did and there's just a bunch of stuff littered throughout this entire world that I did and it's kinda cool just to go back and see this to see how far I've come as a, a minecraft player and always seeing the giant towers back there in the distance was always cool to me when I'm out and about running around and just kind of like, hey, you're almost home when you can see the giant towers. And uh, those were one of the coolest achievements I had back in the day. But, you know, like I said, Minecraft has just changed so much. And all of this stuff, none of this stuff matters anymore to anybody. You know, this is what I used to do was do these kind of tutorials. And it's what people look forward to. And now they're just there's so many other ways to do it this was my hidden um, drawbridge trap door video I did a while back a long while back you know all of these I did a long time ago but it's just I don't know like I said it's just I see so many people that talk trash on older videos not just mine but some friends of mine that go back and like oh my god what a noob you know people talk so much trash on this right here this C I made here you know there's nothing you know magnificent about this but at the time See, here's something else to keep in mind, if you're even still with the video, is back then, they didn't have, and when you went into your inventory stuff, it didn't, when you highlighted stuff, it didn't tell you what it was. There wasn't crafting menus and stuff to try and teach you how to do stuff. There, we didn't have a wiki back then to try and teach you how to make anything. It was, it is what it was. I mean, you had to figure it out, and so you watched tutorial videos. And so when it came to doing, like, working with lava, there was a lot of people that didn't know what they were doing. And so I would do stuff like this and show them. And that's about it. So I'm going to head back into this house. Oh, uh, good old memories. Lots of, lots of, lots of hours spent here. In the meantime, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Hope you guys enjoyed this little trip down memory lane with me. And just, if you're still with me at this point, just remember 
you know, things have changed. It's not always the way it used to be. So, you know, be kind to those who have been doing it for a long time. And uh, you guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later.